Good evening, I'm weather forecaster Jack Van Meter with your Newslink web weather update. We're going to start off with an interesting slide tonight. We're actually going to talk about dew point temperatures and how low they are right now. Look at this here in Muncie, our dew point temperature is only 16 degrees. Now dew point, for those of you that don't know, is we usually use it in the summer to talk about humidity, how much moisture is in the air. Now we're going to use it for the opposite reason, to talk about the lack of moisture out there. It's very, very dry outside. I'm sure everybody is feeling that I'm carrying a tub of Vaseline with me everywhere I go. Just this cool air mass that moved down from Canada has got a lot of dry, cold air that's just kind of sitting over us. Thankfully, it looks like we're going to get a little bit of moisture come about Friday. I'll have a little bit about that in a second. But now just current feel like temperatures outside 40 degrees here in Muncie, a little cooler up in Fort Wayne at 34 and in Indianapolis is sitting at 45 degrees. It's, it was a little co colder today than it was yesterday. We have been co uh, cooling down and that looks like it's going to be the trend again for tomorrow. But kind of to put this all into perspective, the, hi the high that we hit today was 47 degrees. Look how cold, how much colder that is than our average high for this time of year of 54 degrees. Obviously not even close to 83 degrees that we hit back in 2012, I wish. But we are seeing some of those spring-like flowers. We're seeing those daffodils which come up earlier in the, in the year and they are enjoying the moisture that is uh, on the way uh, coming that we had last week actually with all of that rain. Looking at some current radar, we're not seeing anything. Maybe a couple passing clouds out to our west and that's going to be the main story for tonight. So for your forecast for tonight, we do have a low, very cold low of 23 degrees, mostly clear, breezy conditions. It was a windy one today and that trend is going to finally die out tonight and into tomorrow. That being said, we're not completely out of the woods yet gusting tonight up to 20 miles an hour. So do watch that if you are headed out tonight. Going to need that big jacket. Looking at these temperatures for tomorrow, I'm just going to take a step off of the screen right now. We can see quite cold in the morning, 25 degrees at 8 a.m. So make sure you keep that big coat for much of the morning and into the afternoon. Look at this at noon. We're finally going to break the freezing mark there going up to 34 degrees. And we're also going to see that how the wind chill actually brings us down a little bit. It's only going to feel like 20 degrees for the first part of the morning. Again, very, very cold tomorrow morning. So do take that into account. Like I said, we do have a little bit of moisture to talk about that is coming on Friday. So let's go ahead and roughly time that out on precision cast. Starting here at 6 p.m., we have two little blasts. We have something coming up from the south, and then we have that line associated with the cold front from the west. And they're just going to kind of smash together. We're going to be seeing a lot of rain overnight on Friday and into early Saturday morning. We have cold air behind it, too. That's why we're seeing this freezing line with a little bit of snow. So we may actually see a couple flurries on the back end of this, probably early, early Saturday morning. You could see a couple flurries in our area. Now time for our Ross seven day forecast where we see we have a little bit of everything. We do have that system coming through Friday and a little bit on Saturday, clearing out for the weekend, which would be very nice. Warming up again, 62 degrees on Monday, and we can see for the first half of the week, we do have a lot of rain to talk about next week. You can follow Newslink Indiana on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I hope everybody has a great rest of the week.